Hello everyone, Ben Williams here from Old Tin Cup Habitat Restoration and Enhancement and I'm coming to you from the truck right now and I wanted to talk about um, our letter G for this land management A to Z series um, and that's going to be goals. You have to have goals when you're managing a piece of property or you're going into next hunting season or whatever it might be. And I just want to talk about having realistic expectations for these goals. Um, there's properties I hunt where three and a half year old is the target buck. There's properties I hunt where four and a half year old is the target buck. If I'm out on public land, you know, I might be putting that bar at two and a half. Um, it all just depends on a bunch of different factors with that. Um, so you have to set your goals to be realistic. Um, is there places in New York and throughout the country that it's realistic to have that goal of shooting five, six half year old bucks? 160 inches plus absolutely it's a realistic goal um, and it's a good goal to strive for but I find that having more realistic goals is going to help you enjoy being out on your land more helping you be more successful and building those steps as you get going with your goals so I tell people start small but dream big so to speak so work up to that goal um, if your goal is to shoot that five six year old buck you know, when you haven't shot any three or four year old bucks yet, you got to be realistic and take a step back, guys. You can build up to these things. It doesn't have to happen, boom, instantaneous like this. And with everything going on in the country with, you know, COVID-19 and all that kind of stuff going on right now, as we're distancing ourselves from, from other people and doing stuff that's not natural for us as human beings to be antisocial with stuff, it's a great time to sit back and reflect. Um, and think about these goals and game plan for next year. Um, so I want you guys to think critically about your goals this upcoming season um, and seasons to come. And don't bite off more than you can chew because you're just going to upset yourself and set yourself up for failure with that. So have your goals be realistic in mind with a piece of property, whether it's your hunting, um, harvest goal, or whether it's um, something like getting a certain amount of habitat work done or something along those lines. Please, guys, have an established set of goals. It's one of the first questions I ask new potential clients that I have as a land consultant is, what are your goals for the property? Um, and then we take a step back, we look at all the factors around that property, and then we try to build to establish those goals. Um, and a lot of times you can see quick turnarounds on some things, but other things you're going to have to build up to them, um, you know, to have them be accomplishable. In a lot of cases they can be, but some of them just take time. And you have to realize that, guys, and step back with that and just be realistic with your goals, you know. Don't believe everything you see on TV. You know, heck, some of the stuff that I'm saying you might not even believe. Um, but I think that it will help you be more successful, have more enjoyment, and more fulfillment out of what you do by taking those baby steps to achieve your goals and working realistically up to where you want to be with your goals. So... That's my tip for you guys today with the letter G for goals with this. Like I said, whether it's any of your hunting strategy, habitat work, anything like that, guys, take those baby steps. You're going to be more successful going forward, and you're going to build a better base underneath that to reach the top of your goals. So that's our letter G for the day, guys. If you do like these videos, give us that thumbs up. Drop your comments down below about your experience with goals, whether it's good, bad, indifferent, or if you think this is helpful, let me know, guys. I love to hear the comments and feedback and everything from everybody. Um, please feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, share this around to your friends and family. I'd really appreciate it. Um, thanks, everyone, for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys all next time here in the field. I'm going to get back to doing a couple different videos for you guys today. Um, I got some more time off from work, so that's what we're going to be doing the rest of the day is filming videos, but I'm in the truck right now between raindrops, as you can see, um, so I'm probably here hitting the windshield and stuff like that. So thanks, everyone, for tuning in, guys. Um, this is Ben Williams from Molten Cup Habitat Restoration Enhancement for your letter G, goals, and I'll see you all next time here in the field. Take care, guys.